Welcome back to another episode of Who the F***. It's the show that aims to take a deep dive into some of the acts announced for Reading and Leeds 2019. I'm smiling because um, tomorrow morning we will all be in that field and I still have six videos to put out. Fun, fun, fun. Um, in today's episode we're looking at In Your Prime. In Your Prime are a alternative rock band from Leeds. If you've never heard of them before, hopefully this video will help answer the question Who the fuck it in your prime? Ruby, Ethan, Matthew, Matt and Ewan, I think, Ewan, are from Leeds. They describe themselves as alternative rock and hard rock. They also describe influences from bands like Young Guns, Lauren and Atlantis and Catfish and the Bottlemen. They formed the band in August of 2016 and have played multiple venues across the UK and a lot of different festivals. They independently released their first record, 24, in 2017. This was followed up by singles Handle With Care and Never in 2018. In late 2018, they also released their first EP, Karina Mutra, Mutra? Mundra, Karina Mundra, which featured both the previous singles along with the lead track, Skin. This year they entered the Future Sound Emerging, Competi uh, Future Sound Emerging Competition, winning the opportunity to perform at both Reading and Leeds, along with Fudge, The Loose Cut and Leodis. The other bands are playing on the uh, introducing stage, I believe. This is their first time playing Reading and Leeds and they're taking to the pit on the, on the Friday at Reading, Saturday at Leeds. It's weird because the Friday is this Friday. That's that's an odd thing to be talking about. Clash-wise, it looks like they're going up against both Ocean, Alley and Seagulls, two acts that I'm really, really excited to check out, so I don't think I can see myself going out of my way to check out their set. However, I do think they're very good. Their most popular record is 24, currently sat on 1,000 views on YouTube. We're talking about a super fresh band here, guys. As I said, big Clash, so I think that the, the chances of me going and checking them out is somewhat limited. However, if you like big, riffy, clangy guitar bands, this is a real must for you. So on the Lightly to See scale, I'm gonna be going with a three out of 10. What do you think? Are they a band you're excited to see at this year's festival? Have you seen them perform before? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.